Okay, so in the previous video, I asked you to start with this places everybody of telling the cat, no matter where the cat was from previous experience, to go to the left hand side of the stage, the left edge of the stage, and prepare to take his action. And the action that I'd like him to take in this animation is to walk our way across the stage. And I asked you to figure out some different ways that you could do that. And I suspect, without being able to talk to you about what you came up with, that you probably came up with one of two or three solutions with this. Um, the first one that people often come up with is just to use another go-to block. Right? The idea is that if I'm starting at the left edge of the stage, which is negative 200, 0, I want to go to the right edge of the stage, and so there's my right edge of the stage, and again, I could just drag this out, that would be go to 196, 10, or again, I'm a little OCD, so I like to do go to positive 200, 0. Right? If, if, if negative 200 is this side of the stage, positive 200 must be that side of the stage. And so I can simply say, places everybody, action, and the cat moved from the left edge of the stage to the right edge of the stage. Okay? And that's one possible answer. Um, although most of you probably hate that as an answer. Um, and so even if you did that as a way to answer this, it probably bothered you a little bit. And so what else can we do? I mean, the reason that this might bother you is the cat just sort of jumps from the left edge to the right edge. That's not an animation. That's not a walk. It's a, it's a repositioning. And so we don't like that. And so there are other ways that we can do this. So many of you may have discovered, in fact, that there's this glide block, I think I played with it in one of the earlier videos, that you can glide for some amount of time from where you are to a position. So it's very similar to the go-to in that in both cases we're going to end at 200, 0, but the glide says do it over a period of time. And so I can say places everybody and action and the cat runs across the screen because he has to move 400 pixels in one second, right? He goes from negative 200 to positive 200. So maybe we say, well, let's do that in four seconds, 100 pixels per second. Places everybody and action. And there we go. That's, for many of you, probably the solution you came up with for this animation, that we have a way to move slowly across the screen and we start to have this little sense of animation. And that's kind of cool. Um, that's the starting now of, of, a, of a program that, that would, you know, be something that a student might like to do. So let's add on to this. Let's, let's get more involved with this. Okay? I actually have a love-hate relationship with the glide. The reason that I have a love-hate relationship with the glide is while it actually produces a nice looking result, right? I mean, the cat really does sort of move across the stage. It looks like a little video or a little animation. The problem is that if you think about what's going on with this program here, right? He can't do anything else until he has, is done with that glide. This block of code right here says start doing something and for the next four seconds that's the only thing you're going to do. So even if after that we wanted to do something or even if during that we wanted to do something um, it, it doesn't work very well. Right? And so let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, and now I'm going to actually show you something more with Scratch that you that you may not have seen if you're brand new to Scratch. And that is, I'm going to go up here to the very top of my menu of options, and you see the code tab. And you probably, uh, many of you have probably explored these costumes and sounds, because you're like your students, you're going to dig into things. And when you look at costumes here, you see that there's actually two costumes that are going on for this cat. And they're fairly similar. When you first look at them, you might not see much difference. But when I click on them, you see that his legs have moved slightly. And what's nice about this is if we use the changing of the costumes as we, as we walk, then we can make it look a little more like the cat is walking, right? Right now, let me replay this, right now the cat just sort of magically hovers through the air and glides across the stage. Well, what if we wanted to take advantage of those costumes and have him switch from costume one to costume two so that it looked more like he was walking? 
Okay. Well, we can do that by playing with the Looks tab in our uh, Scratch program, and I'm going to skip down a little bit to the issue with costumes right here. Here are the sort of two blocks that we're going to use with costumes. This sprite comes with two costumes, and you have two choices. You can either switch from costume one to costume two, or costume two to costume one. You can say, no matter where I am, switch to a different costume, or you can say, go to the next costume. All right, that, I, I said the word costume a lot in all of that, but let's look at this for a second. I'm going to say when I'm walking, I want to switch from costume two to costume one. And then maybe I want to wait another second and switch back to costume one. So I'm going to switch back to costume one, right? And again, I'm going to just pull these out of the way for now so we can use them later if we choose to. And so now let's look at what this program looks like. I'm going to say go. Say places everybody, we're saying glide four seconds, and then we change the, the legs. Let me run that again so you can pay attention to the changing of the legs at the end. Glide, cat stays the same the whole way. Costume two, costume one. Right. Well, the problem is I want the cat to be changing between costume two and costume one the whole time that he's doing this glide, and glide doesn't let me do that. Glide only says, for the next four seconds, move. And I can't do any changing of costumes while the glide is happening. Okay, those of you who maybe know a little bit about Scratch know there is a way to do this, but it's beyond where we're at with Scratch right now. So what we want to do in the next video is look at how to do something other than glide that will allow us to move from the left edge to the right ed edge and change the costumes so it looks like he's walking while he does that movement.